All right, everybody, so now we've pretty much got our page form done. Uh, however, if you click on About Us, we see the uh, HTML code here for the image. And that brings us to our kind of next thing we need to do to modify this. And that is bring in what we call a WYSIWYG, or a What You See Is What You Get editor. And uh, if you watched our previous dynamic series, we uh, we incorporated one called Redactor, and uh, I really wish I wouldn't have used that one. That was a really lightweight and uh, simple to install uh, plugin. However, it wasn't necessarily free, and uh, now I think it's not free at all. So we're going to go and use the uh, probably more popular anyway, um, but a little heavier on the code side. Tiny MCE, which if you go to tinymce.com, you can check this out. And uh, they're on version 4 right now, and uh, downloads a little big, and it's definitely a little, uh, takes a little while to uh, upload back to your server. So if you're going to do that, set aside uh, probably 15, 20 minutes to actually do the upload. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. We'll go ahead and uh, click on download, and we're going to grab the jQuery version. So 4.0 jQuery package and click on download. And uh, it's not actually a huge file, um, but there are a lot of files associated with it, which is what tends to make an upload take longer uh, when you have, you know, you could have one 100 megabyte file um, that will go a lot quicker than 100 one megabyte files, if that makes sense. So if we go ahead and open this up and uh, it's a zip file, so you need to have some form of a uh, unzip program. I'm going to use WinRAR. Uh, any newer version of Windows in the last probably eight years has it already built in. So um, we're going to go ahead and extract this and uh, we'll go ahead and look at the folders here. Uh, it's kind of a weird setup. You have the tiny MCE folder and then a JS folder and then tiny MCE again this is the actual folder that I want and we're gonna go ahead and put it in to our own JS folder which we do not have yet so really quick here in Aptana head over to the admin folder right click choose new folder and we're just gonna call this JS for JavaScript and uh, pretty much any other JavaScript we're going to write or um, any plugins we might add down the road we're going to go ahead and put in this folder and we're going to have a folder called JS for the uh, front end as well so let's go ahead and create that so if we click on our project name click new and folder we'll call that JS now for uh, tiny MCE though we're just going to use that on the admin. So let's head back over to WinRAR or whatever your uh, unzipping program is. And we're going to go ahead and extract this. Um, and like I said, make sure it is the, you want to go from the tiny MCE folder to JS and then the tiny MCE folder again. This is the one that you want because this has all the stuff in it. And we're going to extract this to our JS folder. So we're going to go to our HD Docs folder and find the proper uh, folder you've set up and then go into admin and JS and click OK and there we go so now in Aptana we have the tiny MCE folder oh and look it actually ended up not doing what I wanted it to do <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and rename this. So if you ended up with the same situation, I thought I was extracting the proper folder. Um, I'm going to rename this main folder here to tinymce2. Click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag the second tinymce folder back into JS. And then I'm going to delete tinymce2. So right click and delete say OK there we go so if you're on uh, if you're doing this with a remote server you're gonna wanna upload this now but we're doing this locally so we don't need to do anything with that 
now let's take a look at how to put this into our project. So let's click on documentation and we'll go to installation. So right now we're actually we're not going to use the jQuery version just yet. But the uh, first thing we need to do is make sure that our uh, tiny MCE JavaScript is loaded. So let's head over to Aptana. Go into the config folder inside of admin and open up the js.php. And we need to create another one of these script tags. So after the bootstrap, let's come down here and make a script tag. And the source is going to be js slash tiny mce slash and then let's look at the file name here it's going to be tiny mce dot min dot js we'll go ahead and close that so now we've got the javascript loaded now we can do something with it so let's take a look at the documentation again so in order to use this at its most basic level we just need to initialize it which is this right here and then we need to tell it what the selector is so basically what, uh, what are we affecting what are we going to apply this to and in this case we're saying text area so pretty much any text area on the page is going to turn into a tiny MCE WYSIWYG And just to be clear before we move forward, if you're not clear what a WYSIWYG is, basically allows us to work on, say, in this case, the body of our, our page. And uh, we can switch back and forth from code view to the WYSIWYG view. It will automatically add HTML as you're writing things out and styling things. And we'll get a better idea of that once we load this up. So let's go ahead and copy this tiny MCE dot init for initialize. These three lines here. So we'll copy that. And then after the document dot ready function. So after uh, line 33, paste that. And uh, this should be all we need. So let's save this. Go back to our page. And uh, we'll just reload the about us page. There you go, now we have our WYSIWYG. So you see we have all these format options and uh, some editing options. We have a toolbar and that's pretty neat. So what this will do is behind the scenes it's putting in HTML and when we hit save it it's going to save all that HTML into the uh, body column of our database. So that way we can display it the proper way on the front end.